This is NWA Smoky Mountain TV. Thanks, fans, for joining us this week. I'm Matt Rhodes alongside John Morehouse. Big event. We've talked about it for the past couple of weeks. Coming to King Sports Civic Auditorium on Saturday night, August the 8th. Fire on the Mountain. It's one of the biggest annual events we promote each and every year. We've talked about some of the main event matches that are taking place, and we'll have more on that a little bit later in the program. But we're going to talk about two big matches today on the program. First, we're going to see the return of Ring of Honor star Cedric Alexander. He's going to be taking on the man, well, everybody knows, Sean Schultz, John. That's right. We're going to see footage of both men in action this week uh, from previous matches, Cedric Alexander in action, and also the match between Sean Schultz and Skylar Cruz from this year's Smoky Mountain Let's take a look at that special action profiling this big matchup coming to fire on the mountain. God almighty, it was close. Six. Yeah. Oh, it may be time to end it. I'm gonna pick him up here. The front chantry hooked to go for maybe a suplex. Connor gonna try to sandbag him here. With the fans chanting here, our environment's carry from Cedric Alexander. Gonna roll through. Oh, what a split-legged moonsault from the middle rope. One, two. Oh, God. Oh, so that close. That was very impressive. Man, I have never seen a, a more impressive split-legged moonsault. That was absolutely incredible. Eric Foster referee just saying it was a quarter of an inch away from the three count. And I think Dylan Sizemore lost five years off of his life with that cover. Yeah, if we're lucky. Look out, Cedric. We're going to try to get him again for this suplex here or something here. French Hatchery applied. He's got him up, Connor slides through. Got him in a dragon sleeper. Got him in a dragon sleeper here. Cedric trying to get to the ropes, and he does. Matt Connor's not letting it go. Finally, before referee Eric Foster throws this thing out, he breaks it up. He's got a five count. He's got a five count. He used about four and three quarters, but he didn't use all five. So I believe Eric Foster may have given him an extra millisecond to keep this thing from getting disqualified. But Matt Connor was flirting with it right there. Cedric, though, how much damage has been done? Oh, rolling up here. Two. Almost had it. Almost had it. Small package, one, two, oh, and so close. Well, look at exchange here, Rick Breaker, oh God. Oh my God. Do you see the way his body crumbled there? Oh, so almost, almost. How did he kick out of that? That, good question. That was one impressive neck breaker there. Cedric. Sets up trying to get the crowd to support him here. Matt Connor is up to his feet first. May have the upper hand here. Got to wonder maybe the, what, what happened, maybe a concussion or a neck injury, but that's an open hand slap. And that's a recipe for let's go and fight. Connor with a stiff forearm. That's a slap right across the face. Oh, and Connor to the forearm again. These two trading back and forth. Ooh, and a, a forearm shot from Alexander. Who can hit the hardest here? Look out. Connor, you got that dragon sleeper again. Right all locked in, but Cedric, little fight out of it. Knees to the head. Rolls through here. Oh, wow. <laughs> Ouch. Wow, that'll knock the wind out of you. And some. Oh. Oh, man. <laughs> and to see some of the crowd reaction here is priceless. After that drop kick, wow. These two back and forth, back and forth. I think a normal man would have been knocked out by any of those moves. Wow. Cedric Alexander now. He's in control. The elbow pads off. It's time for business to pick up. Oh, bicycle kick from Connor. They have it. One, two. Oh, man. Oh, so close. Just a hair away from a three count is referee Eric Foster 
argues with Dylan Wayne. Kai Cooper, this has been impressive. I love this, I love this style. Well, uh, no. It was bound to happen at some point. And a dragon sleeper again applied by Connor the Reaper. Sandra trying to fight out of it. Trying to reverse it. Great Buster! Great Buster! One, two, three, got it! Sandra Galaxander with the win! Hello, I'm Ken Daffron. And I'm Gail. We're owners of Dalton Direct Carpets in Kingsport. We're featuring Caress Carpet from Shaw Industries. Carpets are soft. It makes you want to take your shoes off and play or even take a nap on the floor. Financing is available. That's at Dalton Direct Carpets, Bloomingdale Road in Kingsport. Are you experiencing neck pain, back pain, or headaches? Muse Family Chiropractic can help. Dr. Alan Muse provides a complete assessment using state-of-the-art technology to determine the cause of the pain and offers advanced treatments to help you find your way to a healthier, pain-free life. At Muse Family Chiropractic, we provide chiropractic care for the whole family, from newborns to great-grandparents, and we accept most insurances. At Muse Family Chiropractic, you're not just a patient, you're a family. Call us today at to be a great single star, but he's just not there yet. He's just been in the singles run now for a few months since uh, Gavin Daring turned his back on him. This is a new environment for him. You see right there, the inexperienced John as he gets yanked out of the ring by the more smarter Josh Off with the quickness. We all. We talk about that quickness advantage. Perhaps a little too smart for his own good there and a nice arm drag by Skylar Cruz. And Jonathan, you've been around. You've seen a lot, of, especially of Skylar Cruz and also Sean Schultz. Your thoughts on this matchup? Yeah, yeah, Skylar Cruz has made a smooth transition from a tag team competitor to a singles competitor. Not a lot of people can do that. I think you're absolutely right, Matt and John. The inexperience is going to get to him. But so far, I mean, he's stayed on top. Any chance he's had to pin Skylar Cruz, or excuse me, Sean Schultz, he has. He's trying to end it early, and that's what he needs to do with the quickness and the inexperience. He's got to try to end it early because Schultz, is in great shape, so is uh, Skylar Cruz, but Schultz is seasoned to go longer in this ring, especially with laying a beat down like he is right now, John. 
The upper hand now, you gotta put it in the corner of the guy, everybody knows, Sean Schultz. This is a very different promotion from the one Sean Schultz encountered last year though. The bar has been raised, the level of competition in NWA Smoky Mountain is so much higher than it was this time a year ago for the Cup. So Sean Schultz may be coming in a little too confident so far in this match. Well, nice back elbow there by Sean Schultz, and he's very confident here. Early going, you mentioned it, John. I, I don't know if he's looking past Skylar Cruz, because right now he seems to be on top of his game, and he's bringing the A game here tonight. All the marbles on the line. Again, the winner of this match advances to a six-way elimination matchup, and from that point, the winner of that match, guys, will receive a shot at the World Heavyweight Championship. Can't stress enough how important that is. And it means so much to Sean Schultz. He puts a big, a big like almost like a, a little manifesto on Facebook about what it would mean to him to be a world champion. He knows that winning the cup opens the door for him to do that, something that a very select few men in the history of this sport have been able to accomplish. So Sean Schultz is, is very aware of the opportunity ahead of him here tonight. Skylar Cruz would love to be the world champion, wouldn't he, Jonathan? Yeah, he would, but the thing about, thing about with Skylar Cruz right now, I was going to say he's hot-dogging a little bit too much because I thought Skylar Cruz was going to get something on Sean Schultz, but... That inexperience is really paying penalties to Cruz right now. But it's gonna be interesting if Sean Soltz finally starts to realize, hey, I have to put this man away. I gotta face five other men just to win that cup. I mean, this isn't a one and done thing. Northern Lights suplex, nice bridge there by Schultz and a cover and a kick out at two. Maybe Cruz could pull a rabbit out of the hat here. Stranger things have happened, especially in this tournament. We have seen upsets in the past. Just like two years ago, man. I mean, I don't think anybody going in would have expected Ricky Morton to walk out of the winner of the 2013 Cup, but that's what he did, outlasting a field that included Jason Kincaid, Kyle O'Reilly, former world champion Adam Pierce, just a star-studded group. Anything and everything is going to happen here at the Smoky Mountain Cup. So the biggest stars in the world in this sport have been in this tournament, and none different this year when you think of the NWA. You do think of names like Chris Richards, Jack Stain. Sean Schultz, a man that travels all over the world and competes. Sigmund, he's in a tag team action tonight, but they're on this card competing because they're the best the NWA has to offer. I also think about Chase Owens. Chase Owens trying to win the big cup here before he goes to Japan to get a shot at another cup. It, 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 it's also worth, you know, we have two men in this, Jason Kincaid, Chase Owens, both former cup champions. No one has ever won this tournament twice, which speaks to how difficult it is to do. We'll see if one of those two men is up to the task. I personally believe the gift is going to pull it out tonight. We'll have to see. Seems like each and every year these guys step, step up their game, no matter who's in this thing. They step up their game, you know, 100% above what they're capable of. And you're seeing it right now to Sky Cruz there with a nice drop kick. As you see the momentum starting to turn around back toward his favor. The fans here, action pack sold out here tonight. Standing room only crowd in the Civic Auditorium. Whoa, 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 watch out. Wait a minute. Wow. Oh, assistance from the referee. Well, Cruz, come on, you're wasting it. No. Wasting some time. Maybe sizing it up for the super kick or, or the bulldog. We know Skyler likes to go to that big move. Here it is. It's the bulldog. He got it. That could do it. Hang on a second. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on. We got some action here. That's uh, dangerous Gavin's music. No. Skyler's former tag partner, another participant in the cup wait, here tonight. Wait, 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 he's from behind here. Hold on, hold on. Now, come on, this is not the way to win. Oh, oh. low blow. Ooh, gosh, no, not this way. The inexperience of Cruz has really hurt him. Man, oh, no. I, I, I hate to see it. No. Plants him, spike DDT. Referee didn't see it. One, two, three, Schultz advances. Hello, I'm Ken Daffron. And I'm Gail. We're owners of Dalton Direct Carpets in Kingsport. We're featuring Caress Carpet from Shaw Industries. Carpets are soft, it makes you want to take your shoes off and play, or even take a nap on the floor. Financing is available. That's at Dalton Direct Carpets, Bloomingdale Road in Kingsport. Are you experiencing neck pain, back pain, or headaches? Muse Family Chiropractic can help. Dr. Alan Muse provides a complete assessment using state-of-the-art technology to determine the cause of the pain and offers advanced treatments to help you find your way to a healthier, pain-free life. At Muse Family Chiropractic, we provide chiropractic care for the whole family, from newborns to great-grandparents, and we accept most insurances. At Muse Family Chiropractic, you're not just a patient, you're a family. Call us today at 
The action's hot in the ring. Welcome back to the program. We're talking about Fire on the Mountain coming to the King Sports Civic Auditorium again August the 8th. We're just a few short weeks away, John Morehouse, and we're going to talk about a big tag team matchup. The United States Tag Team Championships are going to be on the line. The Heat Seekers are invoking their rematch clause against the Illuminati. Special stipulation, John, and I personally love it. Tony the Dragon Gibbons will be handcuffed at the Ellen Wayne size more. I know you like that. No, Matt yeah. Roach is no Dylan Wayne Sizemore fan. But, uh, Matt, here on the program, we're going to take a look back at the Summer Bash and see how those titles changed hands. It was indeed a controversial ending. Let's take a look at the ending of that matchup. Richards waiting on the apron. Oh, what's finding out here? you got to give him credit here. He's got to get to the tag. Oh, oh up and over. Going for the O'Connor roll, but Russell hangs on. Drop kick, steps aside. He had it well scouted, John. Elliot Russell has turned into a young man's veteran, if you will, in this sport. Coming into his own. And Elliot, you know, he's he's a student of the game. He's always, you know, if you follow him on social media, he's always watching footage from the past, other great wrestlers. I'm sure he did a lot of scouting at Chris Richards and Chase Owens both heading into this match, you know, really fine-tuning the mental side of, uh, of his approach to the sport. Well, one thing Russell's always doing, he's always finding him a corner or somewhere or a TV monitor and watching the action of the ring, watching everybody that's on the roster compete. Because Russell knows that on any given night, they could be defending those tag titles against anybody on this roster because they're capable of competing with the Heat Seekers. But here you got the Illuminati involved in this. It's an interesting situation, but who's going to come out on top? You see Dylan Sizemore, he's sweating bullets right now. He realizes this may be the greatest threat to his United States tag titles yet. Sleeper applied by Sig. Bad spot here for Owens. He's dead center in the ring, John. Chris Richards, I, I think Chris Richards needs to think about making the save here. If he wants to walk out of here as the champions tonight. Referee has admonished, admonished Richards more than once. He doesn't want to get a disqualification here. But Owens is in a bad spot. Richards, uh, you hardly ever see Richards on the sidelines standing in this situation. He may not know what to do. There's a two. Oh, it's going to go down for a three. No. 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 And listen to these people, Matt. Let's go chase. Never thought I'd hear that. Oh, it's battling up. He's using the uh, energy from the crowd as a silent tag partner. Hangs okay. on. No. German suplex. Rolling Number into one. another one. For two. Oh, going for number three. Oh. Nitsugiri. Desperation by Chase Owens. He's to make a tag, John. He's got that separation from Sigmund. They're across the ring from one another. He's got to make the tag. They get out of desperation. Oh, his rolls, and here he, he comes. There. The big bullet maker, Drake, and fight cut, dip it, Chris Richards. And he's laying the smack down. Body slam. And down goes Sigmund. And Richards on fire. He hits the ropes. Go. Oh. Right to the side of the head. Into a neck breaker. And Richards is cooking. The momentum. One, two. Almost new champions right there. And Sigmund is hitting him with anything he's got. And Richards is not even phased. Well, Richards has got to be, without question, the freshest man in the match at this point. And he's the biggest and the strongest as is. Head buddy, DB. He said, I'll do this even better. He hit him to the throat. Pick him up. What in the world? Oh. And he dives out. Fantastic. One, two. No, you're out there, new champions almost. My goodness. Dylan Sizemore is beside himself right now, and you don't blame him. He sees the, the title reign of, his, of his, his prize tag team flashing before his eyes right now. Blind tag. And these, and these guys are working very well. The other drop kick. Oh. Down goes Russell. And I just saw this off to the side here. Neil Sizemore just hated him brass knuckles. I know. I thought I saw him do something. Sigmund has his head of brass knuckles. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, he hit him with it. He decked Richards with the knuckles. And Chase Owens saw it. He saw it. Wait a minute. John, did you see that? Yeah, Rob Knight's got the knucks now. 
he's put, wait a minute, he's just put him in his pocket. I don't know what that was all about, but nonetheless, Richards is cold cocked out here on the outside, and Owens is by himself in the ring. Oh. And the heat seeker, oh no! Oh my God, a Russian leg sweep into the corner, oh my God. Vicious whiplash on that, his neck back into the turnbuckle. They retain. Oh, no, he kicks out. Well, right now, Chase Owens is wrestling what amounts to a handicap match right now against one of the best tag teams in the entire NWA, Matt. Well, if anybody can do it, it's Chase Owens, but it may be too much for him to overcome. Oh, man, front row seat right there. A big power slam. Now, Sigmund up top. Headbutt. And that may be it for Chase Owens. Russell goes to the cover. One, two, three. No! Oh! So close. Sigmund rolls back in. He's arguing with the referee. He's had problems with Austin West in the past. That's right. So give me the Nucks. What? He said, give me the Nucks. Oh, Got some, some disagreement here with the agency. Rob Knight. Wait a minute. Rob Knight's running around the ring. He's got him. Rob's got him. And then Sigma goes after Rob Knight. Chase. Enough of a window opens up. One, Wait a minute. Two, three. Oh, my gosh. New United States Tag Team Champions. The Illuminati. And now they're attacking Chase Owens. We've got new champions, Matt. And they're beating down the Illuminati here. Wow. Here comes Tony Gibbons. He's coming out here. He's had enough. Yeah, yeah, Tony's going to throw punches. Tony Gibbons slugging him. Shades of the dragon, Matt Rhodes. <laughs> He's back. Oh, from behind. Oh, yeah, right into the midsection. <laughs> Tony Gibbons. Roaring elbow! It looks like the Illuminati stands strong! Wow! And the new United States Tag Team Champions, there you have it! Chase Owens, Chris Richards, the Illuminati! Wow! And this place is going nuts! And Sigmund and Dylan Sizemore are getting into it here on the outside. Wow. Some discord within the agency here. Owens, back from Japan, is a now a United States Tag Champion. We're out of time. Thanks for joining us. The Illuminati again, the new U.S. Tag Team Champions. Thanks for watching. <laughs> and watch him argue. Wow. There it is.
August 8th, Iron Man, Rob Conway versus the Prodigy, Vince Brent. King Sports Civic Auditorium, home of the NWA Smoky Mountain, the place where the best fans in East Tennessee reside. They come out and they give their heart to everybody that puts the heart on the line in the ring. Rob Conway says that they've turned his back on him. Let me tell you something, Rob Conway. The only person that's turned their back on anybody is you. Not only myself, Rob, I don't care if you have a problem with me, but when it comes to the fans that make us what we are, that's my family. And when you mess with my family, I don't care how big you are, I'm going to show you why everybody in the NWA Smoky Mountain audience gives me their heart. Because win or lose, they know I'm going to give 110%. But I can promise you that a loss isn't what I'm going to walk away with on August 8th. Rob Conway, the future's here, and the NWA Smoky Mountain is the future.